a powerful winter storm is bearing down on San Diego right now, bringing with it wind, rain and flooding across our region. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kirsten Holmes. Marcella Lee is off tonight. Our Brian White has been working the coastal areas all day, tracking the storm's impact on our communities tonight. He is live in Ocean Beach with a look at those huge waves that are just pounding the shoreline. Hey, Brian. Hey, Kirsten. Yeah, we're here at the Ocean Beach Pier, which has been closed due to the large surf. Now I'm going to step out of the way and show you right here. The waves are getting pretty big out there. As you can see, they're, they're breaking up against the pier pilings. The lifeguards have been out here patrolling to make sure no one gets themselves into a dangerous situation. It's wild really wild. Looks like almost like snow out there. It's so white, you know, pretty high, pretty wonderful. Blustery conditions with large swells up to 10 to 12 feet at the coast have lifeguards warning people to stay out of the water. Swimmers shouldn't be in the, in the water at this time. It's like I said, it's extremely large surf, uh, dangerous conditions. We're going to probably have beach erosion, high tides. It's a uh, significant safety concern. Rain and wet roads along the coast had some drivers on edge. There's not a lot of drainage on the roads here, so it gets a little uh, scary driving with all the water flying up. Hell, <laughs> just hell, just downpour after downpour. I left extra early so I could get here on time. Business owners in South Mission Beach did their best to keep the area from flooding. Bob Ruain clears leaves from this storm drain, which can flood very easily. Logs up. That's why we've got a barricade in front of our door, and the office will get six inches of water in it. Julia and Amanda Mench are sisters from Chicago vacationing here in Mission Beach. It's, it's rainy. It's very cold. It's very <laughs> rainy. This is not what I was expecting California to be like. Because of the rainy weather, they've had to adjust their plans for today. Stay um, inside. <laughs> Yeah, we just got some takeout. We're going to eat some food, maybe watch a movie, and then we're about to go grocery shopping. Yeah. After that, we'll be, you know, inside. Due to the windy conditions, city crews were busy picking up fallen tree limbs and palm fronds here near Mission Bay. And though we didn't see a lot of flooding in the coastal areas today, lifeguards warned that it could still happen. Obviously, the areas are very saturated. We've been getting rain off and on for several days now, so it can potentially flood. If we have a heavy downpour, it may flood low lying areas. So once again, use uh, caution. Don't drive through uh, ponding or areas where you think you might get into trouble if you're passing through some of those low lying areas. As you can see, the surf is pounding the pier out there, and it's only going to get bigger overnight into tomorrow morning. At least that's what lifeguards tell us. For reporting in Ocean Beach, I'm Brian White for CBS 8. All right, it's a perfect time to get straight to Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis with a look at that microclimate forecast. Carlene, is the rain going to move out at any time soon? Well, actually, it already has, yes. and so we're just talking about light showers right now, but the big concern will be the big waves right along the coast and also talking about some flooding tomorrow with that high tide. Taking a look at the rainfall, though, so we are dealing with some scattered showers. Some really light stuff is starting to exit out. An additional three to six on top of what's already fallen across Northern California is expected with a steady stream of moisture that's set to move in. We're going to take a break by this weekend. This is what we got right now. You're seeing a few light showers out there for Fallbrook. Most of that moisture is moving out, also seeing it across Santee. But you're looking at potential for maybe seeing another pocket around 530, and then you got one light one around uh, Pine Valley at 7 p.m., and then after that, everything clears out. But as I mentioned, we do have the big waves right along the coast and coastal flooding will be an issue, especially because expected tomorrow morning. So we'll go ahead and take a look at those details coming up. Kirsten. All right. Thank you for that, Carlene. And remember, for the latest weather alerts right to your phone, you can download the free CBS 8 app on the Apple App Store or on Google Play.